Well, at this point, we've got the logical model. We've got the relational model. We have done all the changes necessary on the relational model and also verified the whole thing. So at this point, we are actually ready to uh, to generate the SQL required to create the database. So we'll uh, generate the SQL, tweak it if necessary, and then we'll start looking at how to get it into Apex and start building the application. So how do you generate the DDL? It's quite easy. So first, what is a DDL? DDL is nothing but a file with SQL commands for creating the database in Apex, right? Because as part of our logical design, we have said these are the tables we need, these are the attributes that each table needs to have, these are the foreign keys, these are the primary keys. We've got all of that done in our relational model. So the next thing is to just take all of that and create the appropriate database within Apex so we do that by creating what is called a DDL or data definition language file. It's an SQL file containing SQL commands for creating tables uh, and so on. Okay, that's what a DDL is. So that's what we're going to do next. So it's very easy. Um, so go into, you know, while in the uh, relational model. So go into file and then export. And then within export, select the option TDL file that's it okay then it comes to this screen and then we click on generate and then it comes to the next screen uh, where we look in first at the first tab and then uh, do all the things indicated on the screen which is to check all of the things that we want to be generated and uh, uh, the next thing we want to do is to get into the uh, the drop uh, options and then uh, select the appropriate things as well there. Okay, check all the boxes. So essentially what we're saying is, every time we take this DDL script and we run it on Apex, we want it to first delete the tables which are already there with the same names and then recreate them. Okay, this is just a precautionary measure because it is possible that you may get into Apex do some work and then unfortunately realize that there are some mistakes and then you have to go back to creating the tables once again. So then what the script will do is the script will first delete all the existing tables and then recreate them uh, based on the newer definitions that you may create. Okay. Ideally you won't have to do this at all which is to rerun the DDL script because I've given you all the precautions you need to take before that so this should not happen but if it does happen then we are covered by this uh, precautionary measure that we are taking okay so finally having done all that we click on OK at the bottom and it creates the SQL script okay so this window here it is showing you all the SQLs that have been created now again if you have followed all the instructions you would not see this error message okay now this error message pertains to uh, the length of the foreign key definitions which we said should be less than or equal to 30 and we said how we can fix that in the relational model itself so if you do that then you will not see this error but if for whatever reason you miss something and you do see this error then you can still fix it here but what happens is uh, you could also as I have indicated before go back delete the relational model and then recreate the relational model with all of those problems fixed.